Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this lecture, let's uh, get to know some more details of REST. Let's become more familiar. This is the last theory lecture. Then going forward, we will be going with practical side by side. Okay. So what are the key components of an API? Right. Right. So the very first thing is the endpoint or the URL. Right. So if you see like URL, this is some URL. Right. I am taking an example the base url right abc.com right so this is called the main endpoint or the base endpoint endpoint is like the url where we hit it okay suppose i am entering www.google.com so google.com is the base url then after that i am you know uh, let me type here google.com so this is the base url after that if i am opening images then you know that becomes the path parameter right or query parameter we are you know now forwarding to some particular section of that particular URL right so what are path uh, parameters like the, these are the variables part of the URL path so to point to a specific resource within a collection or you can say that when we are trying to narrow down the search to something specific like under images there is some image ID that I'm referring to right so this is my path parameter my path is going to be narrow okay and uh, then comes into picture is query parameters so if i am sorting my results i am sorting them by date sorting by something or i am adding some filters in my resource filter is like you know i need data for some particular day only okay so there i am adding the query parameters to my url so these are two examples right here this is some site online order site i have placed some order and this is my order number so uh, whether i might be having like multiple orders that i have placed suppose i have placed 20 orders but this is some particular order number that i am referring to i am drilling down my results so this is called path parameter and then what is query parameter query parameter is like it is always separate identified by question mark or by this and ampersand so like this is my main url right then here comes question mark so if question mark is there that is query parameter okay i am trying to add some query okay and this whole thing like base url plus path or query parameter is called the complete endpoint okay now what are the various methods that are available so get get is like if you are trying to retrieve some data i am get you know i need details of any employee that is get if i am adding something new on my server right some new request i am adding i am making some reservation on hotel site or i am booking some flight that is post like i am adding some new record on that thing but if I am updating that record, suppose I have booked the flight, but I need to make some changes. I need to add something, you know, add some phone number or something like that. That comes under put means you are updating an existing resource on the server. Then delete is I am completely removing that particular resource from the server, right? And uh, then there are various request and response formats that comes into picture. So mainly JSON is like uh, that will be used as in this lecture and that is most commonly used like there are some APIs those are also for like you know uh, using XML extensible markup languages but we will not be dealing like its use is day by day decreasing right and uh, other than that you know as when we will be dealing with APIs we will be authenticating the user suppose you are going to hit github.com right but you are hitting someone's resources or you need some information right you need to first of all authenticate yourself like which is the user who is going to need some data suppose i am going to hit some online site uh, for an example on spotify i want to check like what is the user uh, the list of favorites my favorites like but i need to authenticate that before going ahead right i need to authorize myself okay then how different errors are handling right there are various status codes we will be going on in on on the end and uh, how we will be testing the api right once i am hitting the api i need to verify right that the endpoint is behaving properly 
the response I am getting is is in the expected format then I will ensure that I am getting a proper response code for each and every re request that is sent there is a response code that is that we get in our response and we will also be verifying structure suppose I am getting back some data from the server is it in some proper structure so when we will be you know going ahead with the testing you will get to know more about this and uh, the main tools that are used in a market are postman for manual testing rest assured for automation testing and then soap ui is also there and these are the 10 response codes that will be of use like 200 is something related to success if you are properly hitting the uri right status code is 200 means it's okay but if you are creating something you are posting something that is 201 204 is like no content is there but still your request is successful okay and 400 are some error codes which are related to client side errors right if request format is not proper you will be getting 400 if 401 is there means the user is not authorized to access this thing right first of all user needs to ac uh, authorize himself only then he can access this then 403 is st user has been authorized but he do not have you know uh, access for that particular area then he will get the error 403 he is forbidden for this access and 404 is like if I am trying to access something but that's not present on the server right then I will get this error okay suppose I need I you know to access something via put method but I am using get instead of that then I will be getting 405 error like this method is not allowed you need to change your method type and uh, 500 are the errors related to the server side if you know server is not working right something is not proper on the server side right or you know it prevents from fulfilling the request from the server side we will get 500 and if the service is unavailable right uh, you know temporarily server is overloaded or some maintenance is going on then we will be getting the error as 503 so i think we are done done with the theory part now let's go with the practical yeah thank you everyone see you next lecture and uh, let's go thank you